Hi, in this video, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about Amazon's Buy With Prime button and how you can get started using it in your business. If you don't know what Buy With Prime is, uh, it's just an additional checkout option. Uh, customers can choose to check out on their e-commerce site using their Amazon Prime account um, and the BWP button. So that then takes them to a hosted page uh, where their information sort of just pre-populates uh, and then <clears throat> sends them back to your e-commerce store. Um, and the customers do have to be a Prime member in order to utilize this. Otherwise, if they're not, you know, they can obviously sign up. Um, and then Amazon handles, you know, the payment, processing, storage, packing and delivery, and then the returns. So um, super convenient. Uh, why use BWP? Basically, B BWP increases conversion. Uh, according to Amazon, there was a 25% conversion increase um, when uh, sites used the Buy With Prime button versus the same period when the button was not available. Yeah, again, they get fast, free delivery. The brand keeps control of their data, which is nice. Um, and then they can also include Amazon reviews for any products that are eligible for B BWP. Um, it simplifies fulfillment. And then order data can also be shared with Google and Facebook. So, um, you know, big, big plus for the brand on that one. It's only available currently in the United States. Uh, it's only for single product purchases. Uh, so if you have multiple items in the cart, it doesn't really apply. Um, you can purchase multiple of the same unit, um, but you can only use it for single product purchases unless that single product is a subscription. Um, it's not available for uh, subscription purchases. And the order data is only synced for Klaviyo profiles who have an email address. And then BWP is an opt-out platform, meaning that anyone who gives you their email address has not explicitly stated that it is okay to contact them and Klaviyo will mark them as never subscribed. So yeah, just a couple of heads up there. Uh, a little bit about that order data is only synced for Klaviyo profiles, which have an email address. So Amazon sends over order data and they send over customer data. I just assume what that means is that if there is an e email address associated with, um, you know, the Klaviyo profile that was entered into the um, the sign up process, then the order data is synced. Otherwise, it's not synced, but the customer the customer data is synced. I'm not really clear on that, um, and I didn't find any more information except for that one sentence that just says order data is only synced for Klaviyo profiles, which have an email address. So basically on the setup side, I mean, the client's going to do all of this on their end. They just need a buy with Prime account. Um, which if they're thinking about adding this button, they probably already have that kind of thing going on. And then they need to in integrate Klaviyo and BWP um, together. So, and both, I mean, the, the process is very straightforward, very simple. And yeah, again, something that they would need to do on, on their side. So um, when a customer uses Buy With Prime to check out, uh, basically what happens is you get a couple of new events and the big ones are checkout started, Buy With Prime, and placed order buy with prime and the checkout started event occurs when a customer clicks on the checkout button and authenticates so they basically sign in and then the placed order occurs when a customer completes their order and this does have an impact on the way that we implement flows if we're using uh these metrics inside of um, our flows so one impact is on the abandoned cart we now need two separate flows one for standard checkout events from your e-commerce platform and the other for uh, the buy with prime checkout event. So basically the flow has to be duplicated and because it's two different triggers, it requires two different flows. The browse abandonments, they still only need one flow triggered from the viewed product because it doesn't create an additional viewed product metric, but in that flow, you will need to include additional filters for Buy With Prime. So typically in a browse abandonment and um, basically any abandonment flows where you're using started checkout or placed order zero times since starting this order, you're filtering those customers out. Now you have to also include started checkout Buy With Prime zero times and placed order Buy With Prime zero times since starting this order. And finally, the win back flow. 
is also going to require an additional flow to capture the new placed order event. So uh, placed order, buy with Prime. As you know, the win back flow is, is triggered by placed order. So it's anybody who's already placed the order. We're trying to win them back because they haven't done it again in a while. Um, as opposed to the sunset flow, which is typically based off of a lack of engagement. So yeah, essentially anything that relies on checkout started or placed order events. So if you have additional flows utilizing um, those, those metrics, uh, we now need an additional flow to capture those events. And any flows that filter out checkout started and placed order events also need to include flow filters for BWP. Um, other metrics that are available, fulfilled order, ordered product, and canceled order metrics um, are also available. Want to discover how much money your email marketing can actually bring you? If that's the case, let our team of email marketing experts show you how. With our free email marketing audit, we'll conduct a comprehensive analysis of your email marketing efforts, provide you with an action plan, and show you how to effectively segment and convert your audience. Simply go to flowium.com slash audit and book your audit today. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to come and do a very short 101 on that. Uh, BWP is a checkout option. Oh, these are my final thoughts on BWP. Uh, final thoughts, BWP is a checkout option that should be considered, uh, particularly for brands that are already including Amazon as part of their e-commerce strategy. And using BWP data inside Klaviyo flows is an essential strategy for brands using BWP and Klaviyo. Yeah, thanks a lot for checking this out. And um, yeah, there's most of this information, if you're interested uh, to, to look to learn more, uh, comes from a combination of the Klaviyo and uh, BWP page, as well as the, uh, the Buy With Prime page itself that announced their sort of uh, new product. Thank you for watching this video about Amazon's Buy With Prime button. For more tips, tricks, techniques, and all around news centered around email marketing, subscribe to this channel and drop any questions you have below in the comments. Have a great day.